I've been in Bryan all my life and I've never seen any any raid to that caliber here. Kimberly Ward has been working at Lone Star Pond for over two years and says the recent investigation at Top Dollar Pond is giving these types of stores a bad name. And none of us want that reputation of, you know, well, if we know somebody, we'll cut you a better deal or, you know, but it's not like that. Bryan police say over two dozen stolen items were found and there could be more, except there's no way to prove some items are stolen. A way to protect your property is to always take pictures of your items and write down the serial number. Um, jewelry is a, a good thing you want to take photographs of. Also, you can etch your driver's license number on those items. So if we find them, we can run that license number and get the property back to you sooner. And that's important when it comes to the prosecution phase when a thief steals something from you as well. Ward says they make sure to ask every question in the book before buying or loaning out money. Do they know anything about the item? Can they tell me where they bought it, how long they've had it? Ward is hoping this raid will deter suspects from stealing and selling items around town. If an item is stolen and I've given a person money on it and the cops confiscate it, I just lost money. So it's, it's extremely important to make sure that what we're taking in is something worth loaning money on. In Brian Elizabeth O'Neill, ABC 40 News.